rents in Manhattan are nearing record highs. Taking a bite out of the Big Apple comes with a hefty price. The average price of a rental, $5,000 a month. There's no surprise that New York City is an expensive place to live. And with the surge of companies calling workers back in office, extreme side eye, New York City being a hotbed for startup companies with every major industry having a presence and being arguably the best city to live in if you're an influencer who lives alone. Housing is obviously the biggest expense in New York with one bedroom apartments exceeding well past $5,000 in popular neighborhoods. However, there are some ways that you can save money in New York City, like by not owning a car. Subway fare is $2.75 per ride, and if you're using it frequently enough, you may want to consider a monthly pass, which costs $127, which may sound expensive at first, but it's much cheaper than the $575 car owners are paying on average per month here in America. Sunday was a really chill day. We made breakfast at home. Lee made these delicious omelets. My mom and I took a nice walk around lower Manhattan. We went to Soho and of course, it's really hard not to spend in the epicenter of shopping and design. That was fine because I had intentions on picking up a new water bottle and a camera bag. So I purchased a 32 ounce hydro flask water bottle at REI, which costs $22.91 thanks to my $30 rewards applied to this purchase. I purchased my camera bag from Assembly New York City that I've been eyeing for weeks. It's really the only camera bag that looks stylish enough to wear daily, but it also has a ton of compartments, is really secure and functional, and that costs $150.21. That makes Sunday's total $170.62 if you include the transit ride. Monday was the last day my mom was visiting us in New York City, so I spent more than I usually would for the start of the week. We took the transit to Williamsburg and that cost $2.75. Then we got coffee, tea, and some pastries at one of my favorite coffee shops, Acre, which cost $24.41. We then walked to Brightside for brunch. My mom insisted on paying for her own meal, so it only cost $19.81. The last thing I paid for on Monday was Uber, which cost $27.61. I wouldn't normally pay for an Uber in this situation, but we were running a bit behind. That leaves Monday's cost totaling $74.58. Today was more of a typical day. I went to Target and I spent $30.03 and then I went to Dunkin' Donuts. It was like a reward after my five mile run that I definitely regretted. It didn't, it didn't feel good after eating it. My body definitely was like, hey, can you actually give us something with nutrition? But that was $2.17, which makes the total simple math. $32.20 for Tuesday. It's about 6.45, thinking about going to the sauna at our gym in Dumbo. And I think the train costs about $7 round trip, if I'm not mistaken, maybe a little less. So at the absolute max, I don't see me spending more than like another $10. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to get chicken thighs for dinner, but I think we should just stick with our thawed out chicken breast because it doesn't cost any money. We did make a Trader Joe's run and we got a lot of stuff. Well, not a lot of stuff, but you know how it goes when you go to Trader Joe's. You just can't get one thing. We went there for salad and we ended up getting two, four, six, eight, ten, like 12, 11 other things that cost $37.49.
pita chips, almond butter pretzels, non-fat Greek yogurt, some uh, bread for spring mix, Caesar salad kit. Wait, this isn't for, oh. Oh, okay, okay. And then we got some salsa, some buffalo, vegan dip. I don't know, I don't really know, but we'll see. And then we got some eggs. And then we got some like chickpea onion ring chips. So $2.70 plus $30 and, was it three cents? Three cents. Plus $37 and 49 cents. $69.69. 69 I promise this is just how the math worked out. I'm not being weird. Wednesday and it's 1 25 p.m. and I've spent zero dollars a big part of that is just because we already went grocery shopping earlier in the week and not like big grocery shopping but just little things we needed to complete our recipes and then also I didn't go outside so I haven't paid for any coffee or tea but I need a bit of a scenery change since I'm working from home and I work from home remotely like we don't even have an office in New York so I just need some fresh air and I need to take a walk to kind of uplift my spirits and give me a little bit more energy. And I live in New York, so why would I stay in the house all day? For the bottoms, we got the Orslo cargo pants in a black colorway. For the sneakers, brought out the Nike Terminator highs and the Georgetown colorway. This is actually my first time wearing them. They look so crazy with the cargo pants. You can't even tell whether it's like Air Force One. Almost even looks like a Jordan one. And I really like that. I like that look a lot. The jacket. I'm rocking this canvas. It's like a canvas suede material, Uniqlo U jacket and this like army green. No, no, not army green. It's like a brown colorway. And it just makes the outfit look a little bit more smart. But not least, we got this tote bag from Reigns in a black colorway. This is the small size. It's not really small and it's also waterproof, but this has been one of my best purchases since moving to New York. Cafe Kitsume is one of my favorite cafes to do head down, like problem solving work or complex work or, you know, creative video editing. I don't even have headphones and I wasn't really distracted in there because the one in Brooklyn isn't as nearly as packed as the one in West Village, which makes sense, but it's also still not a super packed cafe like some of the other ones in Brooklyn so I can really focus on my work and not feel too distracted and have like a nice vibe. You can even order wine. Okay, so hear me out. I had a couple of unforeseen purchases for Wednesday. Wednesday was a pretty good day, but then my homie invited me to go hoop Wednesday night. So I spent $10, I think it's 10 bucks. Let me see. Yeah, I spent 10 bucks for a city bike. I use that as my means of transportation um, during the summer more times than not. Like Wednesday night going to play basketball in a different neighborhood in Brooklyn, but it was only 10 bucks, so that wasn't that bad. But here's the thing. Since I hooped, I was really hungry. And I ate dinner before I played and I thought I could just fast. But the court was mad big. This court was regulation size. I was not expecting that. I went in the sauna, had a workout, and I was really tired before and I was exhausted. And then I ended up being more exhausted because the court was so long and the competition was pretty good. So yeah, anyways, just making up excuses. I spent $51.50 for Uber Eats. And the worst thing about it was that this was for Wendy's. Okay, so today's Friday and we've decided that we're going to attempt our first gallery wall 
behind our couch in the living room because we just have so much white space as you can see. And we wanna fill that with some personal touches of our own, some prints from friends, along with some pictures we picked up at different marketplaces around the city. And of course, some local New York City photographers as well. give you a quick update on how my week's been going with work. Work's been great. My mentor is amazing. He lives in Germany. And this week we've been doing a little bit of peer programming and I've been, I've been doing so much more coding and it's actually brought me a lot of joy, uh, learning more about like GitHub, NPM, workspaces, change sets, the best practices for just software development and like setting up my developer environment. Like I have Edge for GitHub. I learned that using Edge is best for GitHub. Have Firefox installed, even if you don't use it a ton because it's the best browser to test your web apps on. And then obviously Chrome is like has like the best developer tools. And I've been playing around with like the React Redux tools or it's just called Redux tools. Learning about Redux. Um, merged my first pull request. This week has gone fast and I got a lot done. And I'm really grateful to be an advocate now and to spend more time creating. Um, there's like a design sprint. I think that's gonna happen further down the line. But yeah, all in all, work's been great. I don't know, maybe it's just Friday, but today's such a vibe. I also think it's because the office is really clean. I finally decided to fold clothes. Fold clo folding clothes is such a burden and I wait so long to do it. And that's probably why it's such a burden because my office is always cluttered with clothes. I think because it's rainy, it feels like a movie night. All right, so it's Friday night. Time to add up the total for what I spent in a day for Friday. So I'm gonna go into my Chase app. All right, so starting out with the first purchase of the day, which was coffee downstairs for $10.79. We got two vanilla, two small vanilla lattes and we took a really nice stroll around Brooklyn in the morning. I love doing that with Lee. We definitely gotta do that more. Um, we rarely ever spend money on coffee, so it's whatever. We also spent $60 on a print from our friend Danny, who is a film photographer. This print is so beautiful. I can't wait to print it out tomorrow. Um, we're gonna go to Blick and we're gonna get some frames and we're gonna print out the new print that we just purchased so we can start working on our gallery wall in our living room. And then the hand rolled sushi, that was so good. $15.79. I feel like that was pretty expensive for eight pieces of sushi, but maybe it's just cause I overeat and I could have had like 25 pieces. I had something to do in Manhattan. So I spent 275 to go on the subway and then $32.56 at Target. We took an Uber from Manhattan back to Brooklyn and with tip that cost a total of $39.31 and then plus another $7. So $46.31. So now it's time to add everything up. Okay, wait, time out. I actually forgot. I don't know how I could forget this, but we did order food um, from DoorDash and that was a total of, how can I forget that we actually ordered food? So that was $75. So what did I say? $168 plus $75. So roughly $245 for a typical Friday living in New York as a 27 year old. The weather on Saturday was terrible. It rained from the moment I woke up until the moment I went to sleep. I did make it to the gym though. I spent 275 for the train because you all know by now that's my main means of transportation. And then I spent $36.98 for two quesadillas and this like collagen drink for lunch. Then I spent $15.14 on an Uber to take me from the gym back home. It was just so much rain. I didn't even want to have to deal with like the public transit. And that's one of the perks of not having a car is not feeling guilty about spending money on Ubers. And the last thing I paid for on Saturday was two crispy chicken sandwiches. We had some cornbread. 
<laughs> bourbon butter cake and collard greens. Like thinking back on those like late night weekend orders, they just they sound so crazy if you read them out loud. But that was seventy five dollars and three cents. Shout out to Peaches Hot House Bed Stuy. That was one of the best chicken sandwiches. I've had since moving to the city. That makes Saturday's total $127.15. Honestly think I did a pretty good job for Saturday. All right, are you all ready? Are you all ready for the total? In a typical week as a 27 year old living in New York City, I spent a total of $964.80. Now I know that won't add up if you add all the days together and that's just because there were other expenses that I have automatic payments set up for or I just forgot like I paid for the fight between Tank and Garcia. SPM Plus membership that I need to cancel. I don't even know why I have. I had physical therapy on Thursday. That was $30. My Adobe Creative Cloud membership is about $43 and a couple other miscellaneous expenses. Nonetheless, I think this was a pretty good week. Typically when we have family come visit, we end up spending a little bit more than usual because we're pretty hospitable people. So we make sure that we get enough groceries for everyone. More than half of you all are non-subscribers. So maybe consider subscribing. I don't know. It's up to you. If you made it this far, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your expenses, what you think about living in New York City. Some people spend way more money because they go out way more than we do. Also, it was just like a really rainy week. So there's definitely weeks where we spend a lot more because it can get really expensive eating out and going out with friends during the weekend and sometimes during the weekdays. Some weeks, multiple times during the weekdays. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.